way to find the lost temple of the sky, the moon people found themselves face to face with Pretzel Quaddle. Nice hat. Uh, thank you. Where you going? The lost temple of the sky? Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. You missed the turnoff back there a ways. I wanted to show you, but you kept running away. Come on. Okay. Thanks. He's nice. Careful of your hat. Thanks. Well, I gotta get one of those. <laughs> Temple of the Sky. Sorry, <laughs> it's kind of a mess in here. Wow! Amazing! Look! That's a picture of the sun, and it's being blocked by the moon. And there are spaces for two more pictures. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll tell you when the eclipse is gonna happen. You just gotta put the rest of the pictures in order. If you can uh, find the pictures. We need to find two more pictures. Do you see any pictures? Right there. There are two pictures. Great. Let's put them in order. We need your help. Let's put the pictures of the moon blocking the sun in order. This picture is of the moon completely blocking the sun. It goes last. So which one of these pictures comes first? This one? Or this one? This one! The moon isn't blocking the sun! Right! And this picture shows the moon starting to block the sun. It goes here. There! The pictures are in the right order to show a solar eclipse. Thanks for your help! Mm. Whoa! It's showing us how the eclipse happens! Cool! Wow! That big ball is the sun. And that's the Earth and the moon going around the sun. Look, the moon made a really big shadow on the Earth. So that's how it gets dark during the day. It's a really big shadow. But when's it going to happen? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, that means it's today. Today? Well, what do you know? Hello. Huh? going to get into the harbor. Excuse me. What time is it? It's, it's time, time for lunch. lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I got a tuna sandwich and a cookie. What did you get, Gil? 
I got a cheese sandwich and some brownie bites. What about you, Zuli? I got a turkey sandwich and some... brownie... lights? <laughs> That's silly. It's a light lunch. Once upon a time, in the jungles of ancient Mexico, there was a princess who was very polite. She and her royal knight were out having a picnic. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Would you please pass a pretzel? Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. When suddenly... Yummy! It's Pretzel Quaddle! Ancient eater of pretzels! Let's get out of here! I think we lost him. Let's go find a new spot for our picnic. So, the princess and her knight found another spot by the river. This is a nice place for a picnic. Excuse me, princess. May I have a cheese pretzel? Yummy! Pretzel Quaddle! He's going to eat Yummy. our... Yummy! And he keeps interrupting us. Yummy! Let's get out of here! Yummy! I think we lost him. Looks like we'll have to have our pretzel picnic inside. So the princess and her knight decided to have their picnic inside the pyramid. Excuse me, knight. Would you please pass the mustard? Here you go, princess. But once again... Yummy! Pretzel quaddle! Gil, would you like a plain pretzel or a cheese pretzel? Yummy! What about mustard? Yummy! Excuse me, Pretzel Quaddle, but you're not being very polite. <coughs> pretzel Quaddle needs your help. When someone is busy, but you'd like them to listen to you, what should you say? Excuse me! That's right! Excuse me? Yes, Pretzel Quaddle? Me, I have a pretzel. What's the magic word? Please? That's right, yeah! And so, Pretzel Quaddle learned to use good manners. Yeah, excuse me, Princess. Uh, may I have a yummy pretzel, please? Of course! Um, could you please toss it to me? I don't have hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and they all lived politely ever after. All right! Yay! Uh, Yikes! That lightning was even closer! <laughs> Titans! Sorry about the lightning. Hi! I'm a... 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 Molly. And I'm Titan Una. Hi. We're the weather titans of Titan Valley. We use our titan powers to control the weather. But right now, we both have bad colds. So, uh, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, ah! I'm okay. So we usually control the weather. <coughs> but right now, these colds are messing up our powers. Just look at this storm. Uh, uh, Whoa. Well, we're paramedics on our way to help Nami. But before we go, maybe we can help you too. Yup, whether your boo-boo's big or small, we'll always be there to answer your call. <laughs> but we're gonna need your help. The Titans have colds, and it's making them sneeze a lot. What should they use for their sneezes? That one! The tissues! Right! They can cover their noses with the tissues so they don't spread germs. Colds also make you feel yucky. 
but eating something can sometimes help with that. Which one of these can you eat? That one! The soup! Right! This soup and the tissue should make the Titans feel better. Thanks for your help! Wow! I do feel a bit better. And our weather powers are back! Now that the storm is cleared up, it should be safe to fly again. Yeah, we've got to get going. Nani still needs our help. What was that? It sounds b big ah. and close. It's a one-eyed Cyclops! You'd better get out of here quick. Yup, see you later. Oh, no! Ha, gotcha! He's holding our wheel. <laughs> what do we do? Maybe we can help. Let's use our wind powers to give them a boost so they can fly free. Okay. Hey, some people. What is going on? Hello, Queen Dima. You said that if I could make it dark during the day, you'd turn off your nightlight, right? Uh, yeah. Well, get ready, because this bright sunny day is about to get dark. Never look directly at the sun, even during an eclipse. You need special glasses to look at an eclipse without hurting your eyes. And now, everyone, please put on your special eclipse glasses and watch as... Psst. Yet. Well, uh, uh, just a second. I knew it. Nothing's going to happen. Molly, it's starting. Now watch as the day becomes dark. <gasps> Wowzers! It's dark! Ah! <laughs> Make it light again, Queen Molly! Please! <laughs> Let there be light! Win, Queen Molly. You made it dark during the day, so we'll turn off our light at night. But how did you do that? I didn't really do it. It was just the moon blocking the sun for a few moments. It's called an eclipse. An eclipse? <sighs> I don't like the nighttime. Hey, you know what? If you all came to one of our movie nights, I bet you'd like the nighttime too. Could we? Deal. Yay! And so, the Sun People got to go to their very first movie night. Hello, and welcome to movie night, everyone. Especially our friends and neighbors, the Sun People. Hey! Yay! Lights off, Sun People. Thank you. And now, let the movie begin. Ooh, this was my best role. I love this one. 
It already gets two claws up from me. Oh. You were right. Nighttime is awesome! Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Rangers Doby and Gil were being chased by Bigfoot. But there was no way for them to get across the road safely. Wait! Wait! Don't try to cross the road here! Huh? It's not safe! Sure isn't. Yeah, that's why I borrowed your signs. Huh? I just wanted to take Patterson swimming in the lake. Patterson? Who's Patterson? Come on out, Patterson. Aww. I couldn't figure out how to get safely across this busy road. That's my stroller. I thought maybe your signs and lights could help, but I don't know how they work. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have taken them. They help keep everyone in the park safe. But you're right. You and Patterson need to be able to cross the road safely, too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah! Here you go. Your very own stoplight. <gasps> oh, thank you. That'll stop the cars. But how will Patterson and I know when to cross? I want to go to the lake. We need your help. Bigfoot and Patterson need to cross the street safely. Which of these signs will tell them when they can cross the street? This walk sign, this street sign, or this stop sign? That one! The walk sign! That's right! The walk sign shows when to walk and when not to walk. Thanks for your help! Okay, now you're ready to cross the street safely. All clear. All right. That was easy. Now let's go swimming. You hear that? We're going in the lake! <laughs> look and listen when you want to cross the street. Yeah, stop, look and listen before you pick up your feet. <laughs> and so, everyone enjoyed a wonderful day in the lake. And from that day forward, Bigfoot could safely bring her baby to swim anytime she liked. Just take a grown-up's hand so it's safe to cross the road. <laughs> stop, look and listen. Just be stop, look and listen. Stop, look and listen. And they all lived happily ever after. in front of my cave? No, of course not. Are you here to scare me away? No, I heard you roaring, and I just wanted to see if you were okay. Oh. Are you okay? Well, it's just... My nose really hurts. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Let's take a look. I need your help. Do you see what's hurting the dragon? There's something on her nose. There's a thorn. You're right. There's a thorn stuck in her nose. Thanks for your help. 
I know what the problem is. There's a thorn stuck in your nose. You were smelling the roses, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, they looked so pretty. And I wanted to know if they smelled pretty, too. And they did! They do smell really pretty. But they have thorns. Well, they do? I didn't know that. Would it be okay if I pulled it out? It'll make you feel better. Oh, would you? Please? Oh! Oh, thank you. That is much better. <laughs> Meanwhile, down at the castle, King Gobi and his subjects were leaving the Kingdom of Roses forever. All right, everyone. Let's get out of here. Forward ho! I really wish we didn't have to leave. Me too. Hey, what's that? It's the dragon! It's okay. This is Agnes, and she's my friend. I'm an explorer. I'm an explorer, too. What should we explore? The Lost City. The Lost City. Once upon a time, there were two explorers who were exploring the Lost City in search of the legendary temple of the Golden Pretzel. Yummy. Una, over there. I wonder what it says. It says, the Temple of the Golden Pretzel is that way. Thanks. Let's go. But it also says beware. Beware? Of what? Beware of the Guardian of the Temple, Pretzel Quaddle. What's a Pretzel Quaddle? I don't know, but let's try to avoid it. Come on. And so the explorers entered the Lost City and headed for the temple. I can't wait to have a delicious pretzel. Yummy! Who said that? It's Pretzel Quaddle! Yummy! I think he means us. Let's get out of here! Yummy! Yummy! He's going to eat us. Gil, look. It's a Lost City subway. A subway is an underground train. That will get us to the temple fast. Hurry. Let's look at the map. These are the different subways. Red, blue, and yellow. Let's see which one we can take to get to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. We're here, and the temple's over there. From this station, we can take the red or the blue subway. Una, look! The red and blue subways don't go to the temple. Only the yellow subway does. We have to get to the yellow subway. We need your help. Will the red subway take us to the yellow subway? No, it doesn't. What about the blue subway? Will the blue subway take us to the yellow subway? Yep, the blue subway takes us to the yellow subway, which takes us all the way to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. The two magicians headed to the old bridge to find the ogre. Yoo-hoo! Ogre! Ogre! Hello! Hello there, sir. Please look into the magic box, and we'll make you disappear. I'll make you disappear. Boo! Oh 
here to disappear. Oh, I'm coming back now. Hurry! We have to put it back together again before he comes back. So the two magicians hurried to put their magic box back together. We need to put the pieces of the box back together in the right order. The first side has one star on it. And the second piece has two stars on it. The next piece has three stars on it. We need your help. Which side has four stars on it? There it is! Right! This one! Now which one has five stars? That one! Yeah! Only one side left. It has six stars. <gasps> and look! This side has a mirror on the back. And that's exactly what we're going to use to make the ogre disappear. Oh, I'm coming back now. Hurry! Right, who wants to get yelled at first? Wait, we haven't done our magic trick yet. The disappearing ogre trick. Hmm? Abra Kadima! Look inside, please. <laughs> Don't cry, Ogre. That was only your reflection. We had to make you disappear so you wouldn't scare anyone anymore. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody. I just want to do magic like you guys. <laughs> well, why, why didn't you say so? So, the two magicians made the Ogre their assistant. Ogre Kadabra! Ta-da! Ta <laughs> All right! Rain! But once again... <laughs> rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. <laughs> Goodbye, bye. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Froyo. Bad idea. Yo, 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 yo. He's coming after us. Bro, yo. That was a close one. Ah. Let's get back to our strawberries. There's got to be something we can do before they all dry up. And so, the farmers went to their last strawberry patch. Oh, no! Rain! Ah! Froyo? Froyo? You want frozen yogurt? Strawberry? I'm afraid we can't make strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, and strawberries need rain to grow. And you keep blowing away our rain clouds. <laughs> I want strawberry froyo. <laughs> well, if you really want some strawberry froyo, we're going to need to find a rain cloud. Clouds? Oh, I know where there are some clouds. Cloud above mountain top, cloud above sheep meadow, and the cloud above woodsy forest. <laughs> but uh, but I don't know which is best to make strawberries grow. The giant needs your help. Which one of these clouds will make rain so the strawberries grow? That one. You're right. That's a rain cloud. Oh boy! <laughs> Wee. Look, the rain is helping the strawberries grow. So the strawberries grew plump and juicy so the farmers could make their delicious strawberry frozen yogurt. Fro yo yummy! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Uh-oh! We need your help. 
We have to find the books that don't belong on this shelf. This shelf is for books about people. Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right, this is a book about the sun. These other books are about people. Okay, what about this shelf? Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right, this book is about fruit. All the other books are about animals. Hurry, put the book back! <gasps> oh no, we forgot one! Kitties, kitties, mm, kitty, kitty. Where's the kitty book? He's looking for that one. Ooh. Where's the kitty book? Enjoy! Kitties! anytime you want. You just gotta bring them back. Thank you! Here comes the blue subway. Yummy! Oh no! Here comes Pretzel Quaddle! Hurry! Get on! Look! We're at the yellow station. Yeah! And there's the yellow subway. That'll take us straight to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. Yummy! Pretzel Quaddle! Ah! That was a close one. Come on! Next stop, the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. Here. Come on! We made it! The Temple of the Golden Pretzel! You! Look! Yummy! You said it, sister! Pretzel Guado! Please don't eat us! We, we probably taste terrible! Eat you? <laughs> you guys are weird. I only eat pretzels. Really? Yeah. Would you like some? Yes, please. Help yourself. <laughs> I don't have hands. Here you go. <laughs> Yummy. And so, Pretzel Quattle shared his pretzels with the explorers. And everyone lived happily ever after. What was that? It's coming from over there. Maybe it's... Pinkfoot. Everybody, get out your flashlights. Help us find out what's making that sound. Hold your flashlight out like this. Ready? Flashlight on! It's the Crab Scouts! Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Crab Scouts. Scouts! We thought you were Pinkfoot. Woohoo! That's our favorite spooky campfire story. Sit down, Crab Scouts. Go ahead, Goby. Finish the story. Well... And if you make s'mores on a night like tonight, when the moon is full, then you might get a visit from none other than... Pinkfoot. Then what happens? Hey, wait a minute. You're Pinkfoot? Shh, Goby's not finished with his story. Thank you. And if you give Pinkfoot a s'more, he'll sing a song for you. Is that true? 
Gracias for the story. Many thanks for the snack. Each time you make s'mores, I'm sure to come back. If you roast your marshmallows by the light of the moon and make s'mores for pink food, then I'll come to you soon. I'll come to you soon. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.